guys, so today I filmed kind of a different um, tutorial. I reached out of my box a lot. Um, I used a whole bunch of colors that I normally wouldn't use. And I was actually flipping through Pinterest because that is my new obsession. And I came across this picture. And I don't know if you'll see it because if I hold it up close, it's not going to zoom in because my camera is like an auto zoom thing. And so, yeah, but it looks like this and I was so inspired, I guess. I looked at it I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to try to do that on my eyes. So I got the orange from back there and there's purple in the clouds and of course the dark indigo blue which is my eyeliner. And um, I did kind of a winged eye for my my first time so if it's not the best I'm sorry but this was my first time doing it in front of a camera so um, keep that in mind. But before I get started with the tutorial I had a question for you guys. Um, so my school got MacBook Airs like every kid in our school was assigned a MacBook Air to like take home and do homework and stuff and then we give it back before summer so they can update it. But um, we got the MacBook Airs and my camera is a Canon um, EOS Rebel T3 and uh, when I upload my videos to that camera or to the computer it doesn't like go to iMovie like it it'll, it'll go to iPhoto and stuff but when I try to move it to iMovie it doesn't work and I can't figure it out because I like to use iMovie now to edit it. And so if you guys know of a quick way to get my videos from my camera to iMovie, um, please help me because I get so frustrated whenever I couldn't figure it out. But um, yeah, that aside, if you guys want to learn how to do this makeup tutorial, then keep watching and let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm going to use an Urban Decay Priming Potion, and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid and just under my eye, and this will help my eyeshadows last longer and not crease or cake. Then I'm going to be using this NYX eyeshadow base, and this is just in the color white, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid as well and a little bit under my brow bone just to kind of... I don't know, intensify the colors because um, without it, I just find that the colors are a lot more dull but whenever I use it, they're all just really bright and intense. So next I'm going to take my Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply this really pretty yellow all over my eyelid using a flat shading brush. And I'm going to really pack this color on because I want this yellow to be as bright as it can be. And I just think this makes a really pretty overall color for the lid. Now I'm going to use this LA Colors palette and using the bright orange on the end, I'm just going to pack this all over the outer half of my eyelid. And I'm going to make sure this color is really bright as well and also do not forget to blend this into the yellow because I don't want to have a really harsh line, I just want it to look like it is cascading from yellow to orange. So now I'm going to take this purple off my Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to apply this into my crease using the windshield wiper method and a fluffy brush. And I'm going to make sure to not blend it in with the yellow or the orange. I really want this one to be a harsh line and so I'm just going to keep applying it until I get it as dark as I want it. And then I'm going to take this darker purple here on bottom and I'm going to apply it into the outer corner of my eyelid and halfway into the crease. And then I'm also going to kind of take it out and smudge it kind of in a V, I guess, kind of more like a cat eye. I'm just going to bring it out towards the tip of my eyebrow. And then using an angled lining brush like this, I'm going to take this gel liner from L'Oreal and it is in the color Midnight Blue. And I'm just going to smudge that along my upper lash line and a little bit into my lower lash line. But this is basically just kind of a guideline for where I'm going to put the darker shadows. And I'm going to be using this blue and I'm going to kind of smudge that over on top of that liner we just applied. And this is really going to really intensify it. Then using the first purple that we used on our lid, I'm going to take that and put it in the inner corner of my bottom lash line and just kind of smudge it into the blue. And now it's time for me to curl my lashes before I apply my mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I know a lot of people don't like this, but I really do if my eyelashes are like clean, like if I don't already have mascara on. But if I already have mascara on, it really clumps up. And then I'm also going to smudge a little bit underneath my eye. Now I'm going to take my blush, and this is a Sephora blush, and it's in the color Bronze Sensation, and I'm going to sweep that over my cheeks. And then using this L'Oreal Infallible um, Lip Gloss in the color Coral Sands, I'm going to apply that on my lips. 
So that was all there is to it. I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I did filming it because I never really do like different eye makeup tutorials. It's usually always neutral colors or maybe like a red or something but it's never like bright colors and so um, I just had a lot of fun doing it. I really want to kind of experiment more with colors and stuff instead of always doing neutral stuff and so if you guys have any requests on colors that I could possibly use then go ahead and leave those in the comments below but yeah I guess that is all so see you guys later. Bye!